red flag on a raised white chair signifies help is close for beachgoers. But now the beaches along the first coast are dealing with lifeguard shortages. Local communities are looking to increase their staff numbers as the summer season approaches. Jacksonville Beach plans to triple, triple their staff. Shelby Danielson shows us the reason for the shortage and what's being done to combat it. We all love our beaches, especially that view out there, but underneath those waves can be dangerous rip currents and other risks that without lifeguards on our beaches could be deadly. Rip currents, shark bites, missing children, just some of the reasons this building exists. Compared to neighboring beaches like Neptune and Atlantic, Jack's Beach leads in their number of rescue cases due to an increase in hotels, public parking, and the biggest swimming danger of all, the pier. That's why this crew goes through rigorous training so they can be ready at a moment's notice to save a life, whether on the ground or in the air. <laughs> he can call a case, he's got a radio and an emergency buzzer even if the radio fails. What do you see? Anything? George Poe is scanning the sand and water for anything unusual. For now, he can't speak with us since he's on patrol. Since uh, 1964. Poe first joined the Jack Speech Life Saving Corps 53 years ago. He quickly rose through the ranks. 43. Right? I, I am 74 years old. Proud of it, too. He says the training to get into this unit is not easy, but it shapes you for the rest of your life. It is probably the best place to be for a young man or young lady. Leadership, courage, fitness. He says it makes you ready for anything, including other careers. What's up, fellas? You just stopping by? Yeah, just stopping by. Okay. Lifeguard captain and lieutenant with Jacksonville Beach Ocean Rescue, Rob Emma Heiser, is used to visits like this from first responders. No, you guys got enough of my guys. Yeah. You didn't have Max? Well, Max is We're trying to, to get Max, school. but he won't go. Firefighters and officers see this as a perfect pipeline for their stations. We've got at least 15 firefighters in St. John's County and probably more, but Jacksonville. Like Gordon Van Dusen, a beach lifeguard and rescue swimmer here. I work uh, for St. John's County Fire Rescue as a firefighter paramedic. He says the experience he gained lifeguarding at Jack's Beach led him straight into paramedic school. Our recruits go through a very intense 12 weeks of uh, recruit class. Yeah, the view alone, the view alone, you got the pier, the beach. Emma Heiser says this life-saving core is a family. It can also be a home. They have dorms for men and women. They have an ocean front rec center. Outside of work here, they travel internationally to train lifeguards abroad. You can show up here uh, with just a strong motivation, a toughness, a mental toughness, and a physical toughness, and we teach everything else. And you've probably seen it when you're walking along the beach. There it is, that lifeguard tower at the heart of Jacksonville Beach here. This is a great place to set up if you're bringing your family out here, right in the center of all of those lifeguard stands, keeping an eye out to make sure you're safe. At Jacksonville Beach, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News. So Jack's Beach is hosting lifeguard recruitment dates at the Life Saving Corps building. Those happen this Sunday, April 23rd at 9 in the morning. The next one happens on July 16th. St. John's County is also hosting a recruitment meeting that happened today. That'll happen at 6 tonight. So in about 30 minutes or less at the St. Augustine Beach Pier, if you would still like to make it out there. We'll also post this information online at firstcoastnews.com.